What is going on guys? Came back here with some more exciting information about Halo 4. I've been testing out some things with the, with the pistols and I'm so so stoked to bring you guys this uh, tutorial, this gameplay. Just to show you guys what the, all the different secondary pistols bring to the table. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into the gameplay. Lost the lead. Okay, let's first look off at the standard Magnum, as you see here. It takes about four or five headshots to kill from, you know, close range. Some great things about this gun is it's a pretty high damage rate. Uh, it's a pretty good clip. You can pick down uh, probably one person with it. And uh, also has the scope on it, so you can get some, like, cross-country shooting with it. Now, you see on the top here is the bolt lock pistol. It is the new Promethean weapon. As you see here, uh, shooting it one shot at a time takes an awful lot. It takes maybe... And shots, you probably yeah, you even have to reload to finish one off just shooting it as is. Now, with that said, it uh, does have some pretty cool abilities, and I am pretty high in this pistol. Actually, it's actually my second favorite pistol behind the Magnum. As you'll see coming up here, in just a second as I run over here, you can actually charge this thing like a crossbow-looking thing, and it's a one-shot kill from close. As you see here, a fully charged shot is a one-shot kill. Pretty much anywhere in the body. It's like a shotgun in a way. It's pretty awesome. As you see here, it you can do a two full, excuse me, two full charges per clip. So that means there's ten shots in the clip. The full charge is five. So you can do two full charge blasts in one clip. So that's pretty interesting. So if you can get two quick, you know, two quick charge blasts off, then you can maybe take down two guys for a double kill and be pretty sweet. Now next up on the lock, I'm going to be looking at the plasma pistol. Now the plasma pistol, as has been in all previous Halo games, and people know pretty much everything about it, but I just wanted to bring it to you guys to see if it's got anything new, see if it's got anything, you know, you guys don't know about. But as standard with the plasma pistol, it is a semi-automatic shot with the ability to charge, as in previous Halo games. So you see here, it's going to take a bunch of shots to kill someone with it, just trying to peck them off. It's not really what this gun is made for. This gun is made for to hold, you know, the hold charges, so that you can do a one melee after you do a full charge. But uh, some other things people may not know about this pistol is it's actually super effective against vehicles. If you get a full charge into any vehicle, it will stop moving. It'll be, you know, shut down for a few seconds. You can run over and board the guy. Works against, like I said, all vehicles, including the Mantis, Banshee, Ghost, Warthog, Ban uh, anything, anything in this game. A full charge shot of the plasma pistol will make it... Uh, shut down for temporarily so that you can run over there and mantle the guy. As you see here, it takes about 9 to 10 shots to the dome, just shooting this thing slowly. So it is not the most practical pistol when trying to um, kill someone like that. Like I said, charge it and it's one hit melee, or if you're trying to take down vehicles, it's very useful. Overall, I would go with the Magnum for Slayer if you're playing a smaller map where there's no vehicles. Maybe the Bolt Lock uh, if you want to feel like getting sexy and going bash people's faces in but you see here a full charge shot takes down the entire enemy shield so it's one hit melee that's pretty useful it can be helpful in certain situations but uh, it all comes down to preference and game type and game style like I said all three of these weapons have their advantages and disadvantages in certain situations so it's really up to you which one you guys think is best as you see here the magnum does have a scope on it, like I said previously and you can take somebody down in five headshots from a distance that's always helpful. So I thought I'd just bring you guys this quick video just detailing some of the things these new secondaries and old secondaries can and cannot do. Just to give you guys an idea of what uh, situations to use them in. So you guys could leave me a like. It would be very much appreciated. And you guys can also check out some of my previous videos. And uh, subscribe if you're new around here. That would be very much appreciated. But that's it guys. As always, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. Alright, if you guys are around here, you guys can feel free to subscribe for plenty of more Halo 4 content. Or you can check out the video on the screen by clicking the link on the screen. Check out the DMR versus the light rifle. That's pretty cool, so go check that out. And as always, guys, have a good day. Again, the fuck off. Until next time. Peace out.